Next up, we have a full body dumbbell workout created for women over 50, and it's designed to help you build muscle, lose weight, get fit, and age well. We have a warm up, a cool down, plus four supersets, which is two exercises per set, and we're going to repeat that three times. And when we do a workout like this with supersets, we get more bang for our buck. So we work very hard, then we have a rest, and then we're working all of the parts of our body. Body, upper and lower and we're going to do four types of exercise we're going to do push and pull so if you can think of this a push exercise is like you're pushing a door closed so that's what we do in real life and a pull exercise is when you're pulling a drawer closed so think of those because we use them in everyday life and then we have a squat you all know what a squat is and a hinge hinging at the hips so all of those four will be included in this workout. You're going to need a set of dumbbell weights and choose a few different sizes because you can lift heavier for some exercises and some you need to go lower. If you've only got one set of weights, use those. That's perfect, it's a perfect place to start. But if it's too easy for you after eight to 10 reps, and that's really easy, you need to go up one weight. If you're doing this workout and appreciate the content, I would love if you give me a non-financial tip by clicking subscribe and ringing that bell. Turn on your notifications because it really helps me and I, hopefully I'm helping you. This full body workout is designed to work for you. So you just gotta do it. Twice a week would be perfect. I am so excited, let's get started. Set one, we've got a dumbbell deadlift and a dumbbell reverse fly. So for the deadlift, choose a heavy weight. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to gently bend at the knees, not much. 
take our shoulders back, pelvis tucked in, and we're going to slide the dumbbell down our knees to this point, and then up and squeeze at the top, we're going to squeeze the glutes. Okay, this is how you do it wrong. You round your shoulders and your belly's sort of not tucked in, okay? And we're gonna go down and we're gonna go all the way down, see my shoulders around it. And then we're gonna come up and then nothing. So the points that we remember here is shoulders back, core tucked in, pelvis forward, and then we're going to control the move down, head facing forward and up and squeeze. And the next exercise is a reverse fly. Choose a lighter weight for this one. And we're going to gently bend at the knees, back straight, head forward. And we're going to bring our dumbbells out and squeeze the shoulder blades. And then back in, out and squeeze. Step two, we're going to do a dumbbell squat to press first. So we're going to take our dumbbells to our shoulder. You can go a little bit heavier here as well. Take your legs out. And we're going to pretend that we're sitting on a chair. The chair's not there. And then we're going to lift it through the heel, bring the pelvis in, squeeze the glutes, and then raise down. And the second exercise is a dumbbell shoulder press. So you're going to bring your weights to your shoulder, and then we're going to push. It's a push movement and we come down. Look at my elbows. They're parallel with my shoulders. And you've got your pelvis tucked in, not, not out like this. So we're not doing this because that will hurt your back. Pelvis is tucked in.
Okay, the next exercise I call driving wheels and they're for the abs and the arms. They're a great exercise. I'm gonna bring the dumbbell up, engage the core, pelvis in, turn to the right, to the left, center and down. Use a lighter weight for this one to start with. If on rounds two and three, you can go up, try that then. And the second exercise in set three is a tricep kickback. We're working on our bat wings. These are great. So take your back so it's flat, knees slightly bent, bring your elbows up to this height. And then we're going to use the elbows and the triceps only for this move. Use a lighter weight for this exercise as well to get started. If it's too easy for you in round two, go up one. Set four, exercise one, we're doing a cross body raise. So bring your dumbbells to your thigh and then we're gonna raise it across the body and hold. And then bring it down. Elbows are slightly bent, not straight. Slightly bent, so it gives you more ability to uh, control the move. And to finish off, we're going to do some cardio. So we can either do a low impact star jump like this, and if you don't have a knee problem, do a star jump. And if you don't like either of these moves, you can run on the spot or you can do a runner. And if you're working out with me, you know what runners are, they're amazing.
deep in the water You were weighing me down But you make me smarter I'm done with the messing around Yeah, I shook all your drama And I put it aside Now I'm stronger Cause without you I'll be alright See, I'm coming up for air So you better be I learned to fly For every tear that was shed A bit wiser, you know what I'm talking about. All the little things you say, you're trying to keep me in my place. But instead of drowning, I rise to the top, I'm okay. I'm coming up for air, so you better be wet this time. Cause I'm gonna fly.
You are amazing. How good do you feel? It's done. We've done all that hard work. Now you can have a rest and take a couple of days off before you do this workout again. Let me know in the comments below if that was challenging, easy or just perfect. And this workout is part of the Fabulous 50s Glow Up Challenge. It's a 14 day fitness challenge with meal plans, with glow up tips. And this challenge is so good, it's going to work. If you do the work every day for 14 days, you will get results. The first result you're going to notice is how good you feel. And it's going to help you balance your hormones, it's going to help you build muscle, and it's going to help you get fit and lose weight. So why not? Why not try a challenge if you haven't already done so? Click here for the challenge link. And if you've done one of my challenges before, you know you're going to love it. It's created just for you so that you can feel fabulous. Thank you so much for working out with me and I'll see you tomorrow.